How long is he going to last then as Labour leader? Well, hopefully for a very long time. What, what he has to do, and it's early days yet, but he has to create some consensus. Everybody's getting behind Jeremy. He's got a very strong mandate within the Labour movement. But what does still exist is something of a gulf between his me members who voted for him and supporters who've supported him and the wider public and indeed some members of the uh, Parliamentary Labour Party. And the challenge, one of the challenges for Jeremy is to close that gulf. And right. he has to moderate some of his policies. You've been talking about defence but there are other issues as well. The economy, you can't just print money as was suggested during the leadership campaign. You look like a right. South American dictatorship if you just take that sort of approach. So he has to close the gulf. That's one of the tests that okay. we'll be facing, Jeremy. But are you getting behind Jeremy Corbyn? Because he wrote an article today in the Mail on Sunday in which he said that he's on probation and if he doesn't do what it says on the tin, then he'll be out of a job and you'll be looking for someone to replace him. That's not exactly wholehearted support, is it? Well, I... Oh, no. Well, I think the Labour Party is in a very different place to what it used to be. We never used to change leaders, uh, unlike the Conservatives who got rid of William Hay, got rid of Ian Duncan Smith, the Liberal Democrats before an election got rid of Min Campbell. I think that's where the Labour Party is now because we had a disastrous election uh, under Ed Miliband. Uh, he should have probably have been changed, I think there's no doubt about that now, in terms of approaching the 2015 general election. And so I think there is a sense of ruthlessness within the Labour Party that if Jeremy is not performing as we get closer to 2020, I hope he will be, and I'm supporting him in, in uh, trying to achieve that. But if he's not doing, I think we have to, you know, take up the cudgels and, and change the situation but, for the betterment of the country, for but, the people that we represent. But the ruthlessness has already started on day one, with people walking out of his shadow cabinet as soon as he was elected, other people not exactly pledging their support, including you. 90% of the parliamentary uh, MPs did not want to see him as their leader, and yet the party mandate that he received is almost historic. So that really creates a problem for you, doesn't it? It doesn't create a problem for me. I am being supportive, and what I'm saying is that he needs to moderate his views. And that's one of the concerns that the uh, shadow cabinet members that have stood down will have. They don't want to be in a shadow cabinet that's uh, axing Trident, that's pulling out of NATO. And that's why he needs to moderate his views, not just for the sake of closing the gulf between the public and party members, but also for changing the situation, uh, his relationship with the Parliamentary Labour Party as well. And I think he will do. Okay. I, I fully support him in doing that right. and that's okay. what it needs to be doing. Simon Dandrick, thanks very much. Cat and West, uh, you must be feeling a bit lonely at the moment. I mean, as I said earlier, 90% of your fellow MPs did not support him. You were one of the few who did. Do you think this party can actually be united given this gulf? Actually, I don't feel lonely at all. I've had a number of calls from people uh, because I know Jeremy, he was the Member of Parliament when I was Council Leader, who were asking me, what's he thinking about this policy role? What's he thinking about that policy role? I think he's got, he's spoilt for choice. I think there are lots of people who are happy to serve um, under Jeremy's leadership. And there are lots of people as well who realise that with the sort of mandate he has from the membership, it would be folly not to give this fresh breath of air a chance to fly. And I think that's what we have to do. We have to craft together a team of all the talents, bringing together all the elements of the Labour Party and really bring to the fore that energy which we've had in abundance from so many young people over the last few months. Has he asked you to serve in his shadow cabinet? No, he hasn't. I would be very Are you expecting a call? I would be very surprised if people who have only been in Parliament for a few months are asked to serve. But a lot of the senior people who have... Um have a bit more parliamentary experience, have walked out on him. That's well, not exactly uh, there, there an are, endorsement, is it? There are quite a few people at the moment who uh, have nothing to do as of this weekend because they didn't get to the deputy leadership or the leadership or the, or the mayoral role. And that's uh, a good handful of excellent candidates who also are very in touch because they've just spoken to thousands of people in either running for mayor or so on. How can we expect loyalty in a Corbyn Labour Party if Corbyn himself was the embodiment of disloyalty towards a previous party leadership? Well, I'm very pleased that the Chief Whip, who was uh, the Chief Whip from uh, 2010 onwards, has agreed to serve um, under Jeremy because that means that we'll have somebody steering the ship in terms of how Parliament works. Um, and the fact that Rosie Winterton, who may perhaps not see herself necessarily as a Corbynite, is nevertheless, for the good of the party, agreeing to play that key role, which is keeping the party as a team facing in the right direction. But, but seriously, how can he demand that loyalty when he himself was voting against previous Labour parties over and over again? 
Well, I think that through having a creative way of looking at Parliament and mm. perhaps in having not necessarily um, the sort of approach that we've had up to date, perhaps voting no to a few more things rather than abstaining on things right. and so on, we'll have a clearer sense of direction under Jeremy. Got to leave it there. Catherine West, thank you very much indeed.